Okay, I totally wasn't anticipating starting a reading vlog, but I went to Target today and you know, of course I have to show you what I bought. My mom and I just got back from seeing Challengers. Comedy, underrated comedy right there. It was so funny. Um, the entire time I was like, if Patrick and Art just admit their feelings for each other, we wouldn't be in this mess. But it was funny, I couldn't take half of the match seriously because of the techno music in the background. Like it felt like we were at Coachella just a little bit, a little, 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 little bit. But I mean, it's a Luca Guadagnino movie. So legally there has to be some gay shit in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but enough of Challengers talk, unless you guys actually want to hear me talk about Challengers because I love discussing film. Uh, my mother does not and we had like an argument in the car on the way home about what the ending was about yeah it's fine it's fine just as i was about to check out saw this at the checkout line so obviously i don't even have any idea what it's about i'm sure it's like all of her other books but if emily henry writes a book claire mountcastle goes to get the book lynn painter everybody i did love the other one but this was the third one of the ones right? You know what I'm saying? So I had to get it. And I was debating on listening to this book because Keely from Ink Drinkers said that there's like some podcast shit in this that's really cool but I just I saw it while I was there and I was like if I'm gonna leave empty-handed I'm at least gonna leave with this because this is the first thing that I came across you know like I'm not gonna leave empty-handed. And they had stranger like surprise thingies and I had to get them. I literally pulled one from the top and then I like scrunched my little hand in there to see what we could find. Who are my options here? L. Mike, Lucas Will, Dustin, Steve Harrington, Hopper, Joyce, Demogorgon. I don't feel Demogorgon. I don't think I feel Demogorgon. Two exclusive ones. Exclusive A kind of looks like the Queen of Comas, but you know, we'll see right here. We'll see right here. Her clothes at first made me think Will Byers, but it's Joyce. Will Byers is so important that I'm just going to refer to him as Will Byers. Number two, who do we think it is? If it's another Joyce, I would be pretty upset. No, it's not. It's Mike Wheeler, everybody. Okay, here's the scenario. He's asking Joyce's permission to ask Will on a date. They did it. I didn't do anything. Love you! But my current read is Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I really, really, really like it so far. My plan is to at least read half of the book tonight. I've been trying to like not make my reading goals as big because I've been kind of like not in a slump but like not reading as seriously anymore the last few weeks because I've already almost hit my reading goal. But I'm gonna read some of this. Check YouTube because a lot of people posted. Check AO3, you know, you know, just check all the things. I'm currently watching the new season of The Circle and, you know, I wasn't all up on Miles. I thought he was an asshole at first. And who spells Miles with a Y, everybody? Miles? Anyways, I was not about him and then he's like, he's just a little Jewish boy, so you know what? Miles, I hope you take this thing just for that. But I will update you if anything exciting happens in my book. Okay. I just finished it. I feel like I can relate a lot to Emma in this book. I have a really hard time with relationships and getting close to people because they leave a lot. And so her saying she wanted to stay.
<laughs> but she couldn't because of everything she had gone through. It's just, I really get it. I think Justin's my favorite book boyfriend of all the book boyfriends. He just always knew what to do. Jesus Christ, I hate my eyebrows. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to go to bed. Okay, my favorite part about mornings is when Reese comes in here. She most days will come in, tell me good morning, she won't stay long, but just long enough to get her little pets in, and I'm okay with that. Use me, Reese. Use me. You guys, Carrie got me a little sticker. This is I did a 5K! It looks so cute. Holy shit, I didn't realize, I forgot, today's April 30th, which means I have to go to Walmart and get homeless where the bodies are. So we're going to Walmart today, <laughs> and I hate Walmart. People get shot in Walmart. Um, but we're going to Walmart, everybody, for Geneva Rose. We're going, we're going. I'm gonna go there before I go to the gym so I don't like psych myself out, you know? Okay, we're doing it, we're going to Walmart, let's go. Okay, we're here. We're here. We're doing it. Let's go. We've arrived. So apparently the people that like restock stuff have not come to do the books yet. So it could be in later today. So I just gotta go home sad and come back tomorrow, I guess. Well, I didn't leave completely empty handed. I got another Abby Jimenez, so that's great. But it looks like I will be going back tomorrow to get home is where the bodies are sorry geneva i tried to get it the day it came out but walmart was not on my side here waking up very disappointed in the bruins there's no reason we should have lost last night if we lose again i'm probably not gonna watch game seven even though the leafs always lose in game seven i'm still just not gonna give them that satisfaction but i need to eat because i need to go to the gym and Walmart. We're gonna try Walmart again. We're gonna see if Geneva Rose's book is there. And then I'm gonna go shadow my mom's office and then I'm getting dinner with a friend tonight. So busy day even though I don't go to work. I love days I don't go to work. You know, it's just like fun. Okay, we're here and I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful. They don't have it. Just lovely. Guys, I think Reese wants to be an influencer. Reese? I asked her if she wanted to move the tripod and then she just decided to lay down on top of it. Wee, are you starting your own channel? Ooh, Reese's Universe, coming soon. Okay, so today is going to be a relatively pretty busy day for me. Um, it's almost nine o'clock. I woke up two hours ago to the most terrifying email I think I've ever received. Um, Webkin support saying they've terminated my deluxe membership. Um, I pay 50 bucks a year for our deluxe membership on Webkins. So it's not like me going, oh my God, Webkin. Like, it's not me like being stupid. It's literally, I pay money for this and I'm active every single day. Like my card is up to date. I've given no indication that I want to terminate the membership. So I can't even go buy a new membership until I hear back from support because it has happened before where I have two deluxe memberships at one time. So. Send them an email, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I will have heard from them so I can hopefully get some answers. Like, I don't understand, it's not like that, it's not a money thing. Like, obviously I can afford the membership, it's not a problem. And then also, it costs the same to renew the membership automatically. Like, it just takes money out of my account that it does to reapply for the membership. So I don't understand why they did that but it's almost nine. I need to be to the gym in the next 15, 20 minutes or else I will not get done everything I need to get done today. I, yeah, like nail polish is too big. I don't know if you can see that. Like my nails are so long. Like I do not like long nails. My toes are terrible. I, yeah, it's time for me to get that done. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I need to get some cards. Uh, a girl at my mom's work's birthday is next week, so I need to get her birthday card. Or I don't need to, I guess I would like to get her birthday card. And then Megan and Riley graduate on Saturday, so I have to get them graduation cards. I got one card and I'm like, wait, they're both graduating. So, two cards. 
so I need to do that today. And then I have to go to work. And then we have game six tonight. Six? Five. Game six. Huh? Yeah, game six is tonight. We can't lose. Like, I'm so mad about the other day. I'm so mad. But I'm going to be starting a new book, The Wife Before by Schnorr Williams. Um, I'm giving myself a little break from Alice and from my friend's recommendations because I have two new books of the month coming this month and the new Geneva Rose that I ordered because I'm pissed off at Walmart for not having it. Like, it was either order it, have it come today, or wait next week and go to Target, you know? Should I have waited until next week and gone to Target? Probably. But it's fine. So this looks like it's going to be a quick and easy read. Like, obviously I won't finish it today because I have a million things going on, but this should be done by tomorrow, Saturday. So I want to start this so I can then read my previous books of the month so I can hopefully be on track this week. But I need to make something to eat to take with me because I got to go. Like, I got to go, got to go, got to go. But look at what I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys can see. Look how good I look. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I look so good. I look so good. All right. I'm gonna get ready. You're gonna see what you see, but I am very busy, gotta go. <laughs> When is Drew's next mid-reaction monologue coming? I don't know, whenever he t does that. You guys, home is where the Barneys are has come. I didn't get like the special deluxe version, but I'm so freaking excited to read this. Like again, Geneva Rose writes a book. Claremont Castle gets that book. So I will be updating you. Okay, it is Megan and Riley's graduation day. I am in their driveway right now waiting to meet up with their parents so we can go find seats. I was gonna bring a book to read because literally this is a Christian graduation so it's gonna be three hours long without reading the names. But I thought that would be rude so I'm just gonna play Water Sword on my phone <laughs> instead. I didn't have a ton of time to do my hair. Their mom texted me like 20 minutes ago like, hey, this is the time we're going to leave if you want to go with us. And so, yes but you're gonna see them very, very soon. I am so proud of them. I, they've had a rough go around. We, the three of us have just like trauma bonded over how horrible college was for us. So very proud of you guys. I love you so much and I will see you soon. <laughs> Megan Christine Smith. Woo! Woo! Now that you've graduated hell, you have anything to say? Um, don't go here. <laughs> seconded i can't even, I, oh, unless you're going for business just don't come here for the arts <laughs> okay i'm gonna end this video opening my books of the month okay it was a really shitty selection month but i picked five broken blades just because it sounded the most interesting um i, I totally could have skipped but it's like why not i could like it i could hate it for the it's the season for treason king yusan must die this better not be fantasy <laughs> I will be very upset. And then I got A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Williamson, or no, Willingham, Willingham. Because everyone's been talking about it, but that is where I'm gonna end this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one.